guys and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you how to make these potato tacos or tacos de papa made with leftover mashed potatoes if you want to learn how continue watching and if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you get notified every time that I post a video thanks all right, so I have some mashed potatoes here. It's actually um, homemade mashed potatoes from the night before. Uh, we just had like a turkey dinner with mashed potatoes and gravy. So I don't have any more turkey and I don't have any more gravy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make um, the tacos de papa, so potato tacos, whatever. And so basically um, I just boiled the potatoes and um, I added butter, milk, salt and pepper and that's how I made my potatoes and so since they are just left over I'm just gonna go ahead and use it like that what I'm going to be adding to this though is I like to add um, square cheese I know some of you guys probably don't like it you can add shredded cheese whatever you can add mozzarella cheese but I like to add square cheese I think it gives it a really good flavor if you don't like square cheese you honestly you could put whatever other cheese you want but this is what I like to put and then if you know me already and you like to watch my other videos, um, I love to use the yellow corn tortilla. So these are the ones I'm going to be heating up and I will show you how I do that. Okay, so I added the cheese and I'm waiting for it to melt. You're just gonna stir it and uh, making sure that it just uh, incorporates really good with the rest of the mashed potatoes and it's gonna be really, really good. You don't even have to put cheese in here, but I just like to because it gives it a really good flavor. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So here I am stirring the mashed potatoes, making sure the cheese melts in. Look at that, it already looks good. Look. Yummy. All right, the cheese has melted and this is what the mashed potatoes or the potato, whatever, looks like. Um, you can kind of see some of the potato peel that is in there. It's because yesterday when I boiled the potatoes, I left a little bit of the peel on there, which is fine. If you don't like it, you could take it off. And then you can see some of the pepper that was in there. If you wanna add more salt, you can, but I think that it already tastes good, especially if you add cheese. The cheese already is kind of salty, so um, you don't have to add anything else, but it's up to you. If you don't know how to boil or cook mashed potatoes, honestly, you just peel them, put them in water, um, I like to cut mine in half because um, they cook quicker like that and um, honestly probably takes about eh, 30 to 45 minutes and then so then after your potatoes are done cooking then you just smash them with a potato smasher and you just add whatever you want to add butter milk I like to heat up my tortillas on a comal so here I am I'm just going to um, heat them up a little bit um, probably honestly like 30 seconds on each side whatever just to soften them up and then we're going to be stuffing them with uh, potatoes and then we're going to be frying them just be careful when you flip them you don't want to burn yourself if you've never used a coma like this um, I've had this forever honestly I don't even remember honestly probably like maybe 10 or more years for real I've had this for a while so if you've never used one of it the, like these all you have to do is kind of like st over stack them a little bit that way you're able to kind of grab them or you can use a fork knife whatever anyways these are soft see how they're warm already you don't want it to be hard because then it's going to break so um, these are heated up so now they're easy to handle see how I can fold it in half if you don't heat them up they're going to break okay so let me take these out Okay, so while I continue to um, heat up my tortillas, I'm gonna get all my sides ready and let me show you real quick well, what those um, are. I guess they're not sides, but it's what I put in my um, taco. So my kids don't like cabbage, so what I had to do was buy one of these little bags. I'll probably just be the only one eating it. So I'll just, I just bought a little bag because I don't want it to go to waste. And 
For them, I'm going to be cutting some lettuce and I like to add queso fresco to mine. And then I made this really yummy salsa. All right, so let's go ahead and start um, stuffing our tacos and then we'll be able to fry them and then we'll be able to serve them. All right, so I have some tortillas ready to go. Um, let's go ahead and stuff them real quick. Okay, so basically what you're gonna do is you're going to get a spoon and you're gonna spoon some of the potato Ow, honestly, this is probably enough. If you want to stuff them more, you can. And then you just spread it on one side like this. And then you just fold it. Just like this. Like this, I'm going to be stuffing it only on one side, one spoonful, closing it up, and then just stack them on the plate. Let me show you how I stack them. I like to stack them like this. And let me show you. You're just gonna do this for all of them. You're gonna get a spoonful, spread it on one side, close it up, and then just stack them right there, okay? Super simple. Just be careful because the tortillas are pretty hot. Um, you don't wanna stuff them too much because then um, your potato will start to come out and you don't want that either when you're frying them. All right, I finished stuffing the tacos with potato. With potatoes, I uh, made 25 of them. I have a big family, so they like to eat, I like to eat, so that's why I made so many. All right, let's go ahead and start frying them. Okay, so I have my pan here ready to go. I put a little bit of oil. You don't wanna put too much because you don't wanna like dip them, you know? Just a little bit of oil, not too much. So I'm gonna let it heat up a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my top. Okay, I think my oil is ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put one in. Just be careful if you use one of your nice pans, you don't wanna use the tongs and scratch it. I'm gonna try to be very careful and I'm gonna place them in. Um, these ones will cook right away just because honestly all they're doing is frying on both sides probably takes about I don't know a minute or less and let me show you what it looks like okay there they're frying on one side see how I mean there's not a too much oil where it's like covering the whole taco it's only just a little bit if you want to put less or more it's up to you um, but the potato will start to kind of um, melt a little bit and start to come out which is fine it's okay don't panic it is totally fine it happens all the time with the potato tacos Okay, I'm gonna flip them here in a little bit. Okay, so it's been about 30 seconds. Let me go ahead and flip them and see what it looks like. Okay. It's not completely ready, so I'm going to leave it just a little bit longer. So probably one minute on each side. Okay, let me go ahead and flip it. Yep, that's a lot better. So it did take about a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the other ones. Oh. Okay, let me show you what it's supposed to look like and you can you don't want to burn them and this is why I like to use the yellow coin tortillas because they just it's just a beautiful um, color see how beautiful that color is you don't want it to look dark if you get the white corn tortillas they come out dark and I just I don't like the way that looks so if you use the yellow corn ones they taste better they look better it's all about presentation guys well, you know, they gotta taste good too. All right, so let's check these again. All right, so it did take about a minute on each side. They look pretty crispy, ready to come out. Sometimes I like to stand them up a little bit so they can get the bottom kind of crisp too. You just don't wanna burn them, okay? You don't wanna over burn them or cook them or fry them. But these are pretty much ready to go. Like I said, I kind of like to stand them up a little bit like this to get the bottom. Chris also, see how this one is starting to get too dark? We don't want it to look that way. I mean, up to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of tilt it down a little bit like this and I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. You can put a napkin on a plate and let the oil drain even more, but I just went ahead and took them out. Let me show you guys. All right, here are our tacos. They look so good. 
We're gonna go ahead and stuff them real quick. Let me show you what I stuffed them with. All right, I got my toppings ready to go. The queso fresco, my salsa, some lettuce, and then I like to put cabbage in mine. Okay, here are some of the tacos that I've made. Still making some more. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and try the taco. Are you ready, Nicholas? Mm -mm. Nicholas is gonna try it, bite it. Mm -mm. He doesn't like spicy stuff. Okay, I already ate one. SpongeBob! I'm not gonna rise, what I do you think? Rise. So rise. good? It's really good, guys. <laughs> 